Hello and welcome to this guide on how to download and install add-ons for World of Warcraft. For the uninitiated, add-ons are very useful enhancements for your games that are entirely legal to use. These include uh, benefits to uh, enhancing your interface or your, your auction house, stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to download these. There are two simple ways of doing that. Uh, I'll show you both. So here we are on my desktop. Let's go and take a look at uh, how you find your add-on folder, which is where you store your add-ons. Uh, first of all, you open up your Explorer tab, oh, and you go to your, your WoW folder. Mine is located on my D uh, partition here. So you're gonna go to Games and World of Warcraft. Yours is most likely located in your Program folder on your C drive, perhaps. Uh, in here, you'll find a lot of different folders and some executable files. You're gonna go here into your interface, which is the most important folder here. Uh, and here we have add-ons. This is where we store everything, as you can see. Uh, this is only the information about the add-ons themselves that we, we download uh, in the World of Warcraft folder. And the WTF folder is where your information is stored. Down here in your, your username folder, you have information about every character you log into. As you can see, these are all the servers I play on. And inside every one of these, let's go into uh, this one, for example, you have your, your specific character and uh, they can have different uh, different profiles and different information that is tied to the add-ons themselves. So that's very useful. You can see here, there are different Lua files and back files, backup files of the Lua file um, for each add-on. So you wanna make sure that this WTF folder isn't messed with. Uh, you wanna back this up from time to time to make sure your add-on information is stored and safe from um, corruption errors and stuff like that. Now with that out of the way, we are going to download some add-ons. Let's open up our browser of choice. Oh, here we go. And uh, you can go into a couple of sites that you can download add-ons from. This is the site for Curse, uh, mods.curse.com. Uh, which is the most popular add-on site uh, currently. Uh, here you'll find whatever add-on you want, uh, basically uh, all, all add-ons here for World of Warcraft. The most popular one being Deadly Boss Mods, I think right now, uh, 3 million users monthly. Hmm, that's pretty nice. Wow. Um, other useful sites are probably this one, WoW Interface. It used to be more popular back in the day, but I believe all of these, or most of these add-ons are on Curse right now. We also have Tuck UI, uh, which uh, is my UI of choice. Uh, you can download LVUI or Tuck UI here, and uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to install these. Uh, or TSM, Trade Skill Master, for super useful economic benefits in the game. So let's go here to Tuck UI and download LVUI because I need to update this one regardless. I'm going to click the download button. As you can see here, a download will start is the zip file, which means we'll have to open this one. So let's go to our download folder and you just drag this one into your down your interface and your add-ons. So here, we're going to open up the zip file, which it's, co it's compressed right now, so we need to unzip this one. I'm going to use zzip. There are, um, I guess, a included zip uh, unzippers in unzippers, what am I saying here? Um, extraction programs in Windows already, but I'm gonna use seven zip right now. I'm gonna extract this one. It'll take some time. And then you drag those two, the LVI and LVI config files uh, into your, not the GitLab. Not sure if this one is included that one. Let's check this one out. Yes, it is. Let's move all of these into our add-ons folder. And that's how you update LVI, by the way. So as you can see, we get this pop-up here, replacing the files. Yes, let's do that. And there we go. Now the add-on is installed and we can go and use it. That's pretty simple, right? Uh, but there is an even simpler way of doing things. Uh, before uh, this tool was available, this tool is the, this one, the curse, uh, I guess this is the curse program that we can download and use. Um, we had to man manually update every add-on uh, this way by downloading them and like uh, copy-pasting them over into the folder. Now we can just download this program right here uh, down on the, the page for a curse. Now you have to do, register as a user to use this uh, because there is a login requirement to use the, the program. But to download this one, you go to here to the clients section of the screen right there and you download this one for PC or for your Mac, depending on how you see things. Uh, by the way, this this Tutorial is obviously um, specific for uh, for Windows, but you can also do the principles are the same for for Mac. So you can see we get the .exe file, uh, the .exe file here in our download folder, 
You double click this one, follow the instructions and install it. And uh, you basically get this screen right here. All right. Uh, it'll ask you to add some programs the first time you open this one. So it'll automatically detect if you have World of Warcraft on your uh, computer, I believe. If not, you want to make sure you point this one to the specific location for your WoW folder. So this is the D Games folder right here that I have uh, my install location of World of Warcraft at. Okay, this add-on will automatically scan through the folder and add all your add-ons to this page right here. If it'll even add add-ons that aren't included in uh, or on, on the, the the curse page. For example, WoW Pro Guides down here, as you can see, this one doesn't have an update uh, status right here uh, because it's from an, an um, external site. But we can modify this one and um, basically confirm it to be updated by the site itself. I recommend that you don't do that for some add-ons. You got to check those out. There are a few specific ones that you want to check out. Um, but uh, usually everyone will have this update icon right here, this button you can click if they are able to be updated. You can see the version site here. And uh, basically just click those and uh, everything will be updated and ready to be used. If you want to download something new, you can get more add-ons right here. You can also click update all, by the way, that's useful. Um, get more add-ons right here. So you can pick, for example, recount, what is recount? Well, it's a graphical damage meter written by Cryact. Recount is a damage meter. So if you want to download this one, you click install and it'll download the file and install it. And there you go. That's pretty even simpler, right? So to launch this, we want to open up our Battle.net launcher and launch the game. Now, down here on your leftmost corner, you can see this add-ons button has popped up once you install your first add-on. You can see some stuff here. Uh, first of all, we have this little drop down menu here showing all the characters on this specific server. Uh, you can select different add ons for each character depending on your preferences. You can turn on specific ones and turn off others. Uh, very useful. So let's go for all right now. This will modify everyone. You can load out of date add ons, which I recommend that you do. Um, it might cause some errors, but usually if you continually update those, it'll not be a problem. So here you can see there are some that are outdated. Uh, you want to make sure that you go and update those if they are external add-ons, but if not, then just click this one, load out of date add-ons, and you should be fine. So here we can go and see if recount is uh, installed. Let's see here. Um, there we go. I'm, I'm blind apparently. Recount is installed if you want to make sure this one is, is checked on and you'll be able to use the add-on in the game. Super useful. And that's how you install add-ons in World of Warcraft. Now to summarize, make sure you know where your World of Warcraft folder is on your computer. Make sure you know that the WTF folder is backed up with all the settings and make sure you know where your add-ons are installed. Uh, I would recommend that you go and use this client. To be honest, it's super easy and very, very handy to use. I hope you found this guide useful. If you did, please consider liking the video down below and subscribing to my channel for further videos. I've been Crudeless, I'll see you next time. Bye, until then.